You are my loving, sweet, sweet loving. You are my loving. Don't lie to me. You are my I think you like this group. It's called Two Steps Back. Right. And I believe that they are uh, our age, a group of uh, men that, uh, well, they can't be no, that old. Uh, no, that, no. That Neil old. isn't that Neil, old. Neil certainly isn't. He that. used to be, but he got a lot younger. He got younger, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so we've got a great <laughs> show for you today. Neil, he's the bass, uh, we, we have a bassist, bass fiddle, bassist. bass fiddlist. <laughs> bass fiddlistist. <laughs> he's going to be performing the bass with uh, his partner, uh, Harv Hutchinson. Uh, Hutchins, sorry, Hutchins, he right. warned me about that. Yep. And to make sure that uh, Harv Hutchins gets his due, uh, <laughs> due name. There. He warns you, and that's what <laughs> happens. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens. Don't say it, because it'll happen. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so Harv is going to be playing uh, lead and also playing uh, leads, uh, doing the lead singing. Yeah, Neil is a little, a little bit of the, very uh, involved, harmonized. very involved with uh, the circuit of senior citizens. So this show is uh, uh, dedicated uh, to Harv and Neil and mm -hmm. two sets back and definitely uh, the senior citizens of uh, our great state of upstate New York. Upstate New York. When I wake up in the night Miss your arms that held me tight Been so long, baby, can't believe Neil, I'm now on bended knees If you want my loving Sweet, sweet loving, you want my loving, don't lie to me. You want my loving, sweet, sweet loving, you want my loving, don't lie to me. Then you said I'm the one, but you're out there having fun. Baby, you know it's plain to see. Just not your whipping tree If you want my loving Sweet, sweet loving If you want my loving Don't lie to me If you want my loving Sweet, sweet loving If you want my loving Don't lie to me If you want my loving Sweet, sweet loving If you want my loving Don't lie to me If you want my loving Sweet, sweet loving, you want my loving, don't lie to me. Hi, and welcome everybody to our interview, our interview with Two Steps Back. This is, uh, I want to introduce you to our lead player and our singer, and he, uh, his name is Harvey Hutchins. Hi, thanks a lot, Ray, for bringing us down here. Okay. And also, we want to uh, introduce you to Neil, I believe it's Drager. Yes, right? it is. yes, it is. Thank you very much. And we have for you a real nice selection of songs that these guys have done for you. I think that you'll uh, probably be everywhere from crying the blues with these guys to getting up and dancing the jig. So it's uh, been an exciting day today. And I had a few questions for you. One one of the things, of course, I want to ask is how you guys met. I know you haven't been together that long, I don't think, have you? No, it's just been uh, recently uh, we uh, just met over to Home Depot. I'm doing a part-time cashiering job and ran into uh, Neil there, and uh, all of a sudden he's telling me he plays bass, and I was putting this thing together, and all of a sudden, six uh, months what later. What kind of places are. do you play for generally? Well, we're looking more, in, uh, we were kind of lucky to start off at the uh, the senior communities and the legacy that's uh, uh a big uh, operation out for the senior citizens here in the area. Um, we had started off in there, and uh, we've been doing a circuit over there, and it's been very rewarding, excellent. And i got to say that I thank Debbie Marcajani and uh, Marlene and Holly and some of the people that have uh, enforced our, you know, our songs and our, our reputation right now to bring this music back. And it's been doing uh, extremely well for us. Well, you're doing a service not only to all of us who just love your music, and I play a little bit of it myself, <laughs> uh, but nobody wants to listen to me, so I just didn't do interviews. But uh, as far as uh, the senior citizens that uh, get a chance to listen, it must mean a special lot to them. Uh, apparently, you get a lot of good reception. In fact, we met you at a restaurant where uh, you were playing, and it was like filled with senior citizens and uh, my age and up. 
Yeah, we uh, we just kind of looked looked at this whole audience and and I was saying that you know now basically you know when I look at my own age and how the blink of an eye you're all of a sudden here you are. And uh, I wanted to bring the music of the 50s and the 60s and some of these songs, and even back some of the earlier 50s and some 40s stuff, too, that we kind of fit in there. And uh, it's been really rewarding, and I, I have a real deep pleasure of, of entertaining them. And, I, and I'm just so happy that, uh, that Neil come along with me as my partner. Uh, I'm going to ask you right now, what is uh, the next song you're going to be doing now? <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing uh, one by uh, Roy Orbison, which is a remake. Uh, and I shouldn't say no, a remake. It's... Uh, uh, a retro song that we uh, put together it's called In Dreams. Okay. Candy colored clown, they call the Sandman. Tiptoes through my room every night. Sprinkles just a little bit of stardust. Go to sleep. Everything's all right. I close my eyes and drift away into the magic night. I softly say a silent prayer like dreams.
groups for years uh, before this yourself, Harv, and uh, you have quite a history. I thought I'd, sh uh, before I do that, I w had a picture that I want to show you of the, t of the yeah, two. That's there, that's the way. <laughs> and this is uh, the guys as they are today. Uh, and I wanted you to see um, that they uh, have some real class there. Now I'm going to show you another picture. <laughs> and <laughs> I oh, can adjust no. this myself, oh, no. I think. I think Kennedy we'll, was president. We'll give it a then. shot. <laughs> Kennedy see. was president then, I think. Here, how's that? Now that was when Kennedy was president. Mm -hmm. And you know who that who? guy in the middle is? That's uh, Harv that? Hutchins. <laughs> That's Harv oh. Hutchins. Really? And, uh, what year was that? It was 1960. Uh, I thought that was Rick Nelson. Was <laughs> Yeah, that was 1965, uh, actually 64, I'm, I'm thinking 65, because I was 17 at the time. I'm looking back at this now. And we were doing a, a, a promotion for WAC Radio in um, Newark, New York. Mm -hmm. And Vince Jan Recordings, it was a fine, they called it Vince Jan Fine Recordings, and they did a promotion on us. We just come out of a band contest they had locally here, and we placed third out of 500 bands mm -hmm. at that time, and we were pretty popular. But I have another picture that actually, it's an article that uh, shows, uh, gives a little information what they're doing now. Was it the Webster? Yeah, the Webster Post. Uh, actually, we were going to put an ad in, and I was going to play uh, a community, a senior community, Ray, in time, and all of a sudden uh, we had a photographer show up, and the, uh, the actual columnist or writer, per se, that came down there and kind of surprised me on the whole you know, article and wanted to know yeah. my background, what I was doing, and and putting this, uh, you know, this music together for the seniors. Run through it quickly. You are doing most of senior homes. Yeah, right in now, Rochester area. Yeah, in the Rochester area, we're doing the Legacies as one of them. Uh, uh, Debbie over there at the, the New Clover Blossom. She runs a, a a real good operation over there. We do events over there, and Marlene over at Aranda Coit, and we have Holly over at. Uh, at the Willow Pond in Penfield, and mm -hmm. we're starting, uh, we've, uh, starting a new one up here at Cherry Ridge and Webster, and we've played a few other ones. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been at Bay Wind, and, uh, you know, so we uh, have broadened uh, the scope, and they're adding new ones, and they're, there's a lot of them around, but they're adding new ones to the Legacy family. I was just going to say that, I, you know, I, I love uh, returning to the ones we've already played at. You know, we, we go back. You know, maybe maybe once a month, once every couple months to, to each one. That's kind of why you know we call it playing the circuit because you know right. we just don't do one and that's it. You know, we right. and and it's great because you know we've made so many new friends and oh uh, yeah, and know, they so just many love great me people, <laughs> so many great people out there, and it's just fun to go back and see them again. You know, and this, uh, uh, well, we want th this wonderful group of people. I'm sure that they appreciate you as much as we do, and we ask you. No, you were going to say something good. Yeah, I just wanted to say something first of all, Ray. I, I wanted to thank. Uh, all of the people, and I need to do that because this is very important to me, uh, not only your staff and Nick and your, your wife and family for bringing Neil and I down here. Uh, this is something that I wanted to do, as I said, I uh, don't want to get redundant for a long, long time to spread this around. I also want to thank my lovely wife, Mary. She's working now at one of the communities part-time, and I got to say thanks, honey, for all your support, and her name is Mary, and she's, uh, she's been uh, a my partner through this and, and uh, supports me very, very much. And I also want to put out to Debbie uh, Marcajani over at uh, the Legacy of Clover Blossom and Marlene over at Aranda Coit and Holly over at Willow. Uh, they've just been fabulous. We've been running new events. And I just want to give those thanks to them people. I oh, remember a Rochester band yeah. called the Esquires. But one of the founders of that group continues entertaining to this day. At a quick glance, you might not even recognize them. Here's Chris Coffey's Viewfinder. Well, from his beginnings in a garage band to impersonating a legend, Harv Hutchins' music mission in life has been to entertain. Now 60 years old, his new group, Two Steps Back, steps back to the old tunes, and it's paying off in new ways. There you go. There's going to be a raffle. Hang on to it. Thank you. Two Steps Back is, a, is an act that I put together to form, to bring back the classics from the generation that I grew up in. And this was a different concept because I wanted to come back and perform for the seniors and put this, this kind of music back into their, into the, you know, the generation I grew up in. I felt that I had some kind of a talent that maybe could change and, and make a difference. My father always used to tell me if he could make a difference. And uh, of course, when you're young and get a little bit selfish and you get a bit, you start thinking of yourself a little more. 
but then you realize the real importance of it all. Elvis was my inspiration because it was just so dynamic. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Let's give you a nice hand, folks. I mean, just the name, not only that, it was just the, the whole image of how powerful he really was in music. It never, it's, maybe it fades away and comes back in, comes back out, but it's always strong. It's always there. And it's like John Lennon said, before Elvis, there was nothing. How about another saying Priscilla? Priscilla's over here, Priscilla. She came with me. Some of the, the, the seniors that are in the communities, you know, they get a laugh out of it, they get a charge out of it, they get an inspiration out of it. Lovely, tender, lovely they do remember Elvis, and even though some of them are, are older, they still, they were like young men and women growing up in that time period. All of a sudden you are here. And I am now a senior citizen, and now this is even more reason for me to expand on what I'm doing and keep it going. If I can leave and they made a difference and part of their day, a part of their life, that to me is what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that was uh, Harv's wife, Mary, portraying Priscilla Presley. In addition to touring for seniors, Two Steps Back donates some of its proceeds to the VFW. If you know Dream. 
close my 